If you ask college students about the best meal they can make, many will answer something like ramen or Hot Pockets. Foods like these are well known as college meals for their cost effectiveness and ease of making. However, many of these foods are not very nutritious. While they may take little to no effort to make, you can also create delicious and nutritious meals with relative ease and low cost. One of the toughest lessons college students learn when they move out on their own is how to cook and create meals for themselves on a budget. In my first year of living on my own, I found the kitchen to be a place to distress and sharing it with my friends. Cooking can be a great life skill and a way to keep your body and mind healthy. So let's get in the kitchen and get cooking without breaking the bank. Before you start cooking, you will need some kitchen and pantry staples. Throughout this past year, I've discovered some must-haves that come in handy when cooking. First, you are going to need some kitchen utensils. Non-stick pots and pans are a must. While good quality pots and pans can be pricey, any old pot or pan will do in the college kitchen. Additionally, a baking sheet always comes in handy for anything that needs to go in the oven. Things like a cooking spoon and spatula are extremely cheap and extremely helpful. However, if there is one thing that I recommend splurging on in the kitchen, it will be a good set of knives. Having good, sharp knives not only makes cutting and chopping easier, but it is also much safer than using a dull knife. There are also some pantry staples that constantly come in handy in the kitchen. Obviously, salt and pepper are a must, but having a small collection of other common spices such as garlic powder, paprika, cumin, cinnamon, etc. can elevate even the simplest dish. It is also essential to keep non-stick cooking spray and olive oil in your pantry for cooking. Keeping a steady supply of milk, eggs, and butter in your fridge will also prove to come in handy. I would also recommend keeping fresh fruits and vegetables as a healthy snack, whether or not you cook with them. All of these things are relatively inexpensive. Next, when it comes to budgeting for food, I've learned these three top tips. Number one, buying the name brand is not necessary. The gener especially when it comes to pantry staples, as I mentioned before, the generic brand is just as good as the name brand for half the price. Number two, plan. Planning your meals for the week or two weeks and creating a grocery list based on this plan can help you from overspending and impulse buying when at the store. Number three, look for deals. Many stores will have member discounts when you sign up for a free account. Others have student discounts or just general sales and never underestimate the power of a good coupon. Now that you have a staple grocery list and tips to shop on a budget, you are ready to get cooking. So get in the kitchen and make yourself something delicious and nutritious.